HBO's popular series The Last of Us is filled with Easter eggs from the multi-award-winning 2013 video game it's based on. While fans have largely located most, if not all, of the hidden secrets so far, one of the show's designers has now detailed his favorites. The Last of Us follows Joel, Pedro Pascal, and Ellie, Bella Ramsey, as they navigate a post-apocalyptic America to hunt the Fireflies facility. Ellie is somehow immune from the infected as the tense PlayStation game adaptation follows the pair's chaotic journey to safety. Currently on Episode 7, so far there have been lots of similarities in the series, compared to The Last of Us video game. One notable episode was the third, which documented the dystopian love story of new characters Bill and Frank, played by Nick Offerman and Murray Bartlett. The pair fell madly in love and end up living together before getting married, and both eventually share their final breath. But it was where they were living that has been particularly memorable amongst fans, with Bill creating his very own safe town to live in. And it's not just fans that Bill's town was popular with, the show's production designer John Pano has now admitted it's one of his favorite elements of the series. With credits on Big Little Lies, The Leftovers, and The Morning Show, Piano hints that the fictional location was based on Hamlets in New York. Speaking of Bill's town, he said, that was one of my favorites. Because I knew places like that growing up in New York, there are Hamlets like that. And my parents dragged me to like, their idea of keeping us educated was dragging us to Colonial Williamsburg and watching guys dip candles. He told Screen Rant, so I knew all of that now, and there are these towns like that where people live where they just keep it like that. That episode actually featured a major Easter egg, with the final scene, showing a blowing curtain in the wind, was actually the video game's menu screen. On the Tropic of Easter Eggs, John's latest interview saw him discuss the secret moments for eagle-eyed fans wanting to spot key moments from the game. Oh, Terry's definitely, they're mostly props, he explained. Like Joe's watch and the gun, they had to be spot on. We had such a great prop master and his team. If they couldn't find it, they built it. The watch, Ellie's switchblade, you had to have those, right? We would have been drummed out of civilization if we didn't get those things right. John added, there's certainly things like the Fireflies logos and stuff. There's some things that we came up with that maybe someday will be considered Easter eggs, little nods and codes here and there. But I think my favorite was they did such a good job with her knapsack, getting all the little things, the little dolls and things and the little emoji-like creatures that hung on it. They did a great job with that, he concluded. The Last of Us continues Sundays on HBO in the USA and the following Monday on Sky Atlantic and now in the UK.